What is up, everybody? We are back again with another quick little video. Um, as you know, yesterday, Fang was announced as well as the closed beta. Um, another video surfaced that had footage of Tekken Ball um, and then three matches, as well as arcade quest footage, right? So the first match was Asusena and Lily, and then there was Law versus Paul, and then there was Kaz and Raven. But there's a bunch of changes in there that not a lot of people are talking about. Because on the actual Namco website, there's a patch notes for this particular build of the game where they, spe where they pretty much very vaguely specify changes that were made to the heat system and how much like the heat buffed moves were going to be consuming of the, of the heat gauge. Um, and that's pretty much it, what they said, really. You know, they, 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 they insinuated changes. They insinuated that the walls were being affected by it now, whereas either it was going to be less hits or certain moves weren't going to re-splat or whatnot. But unfortunately, in these three match videos, we couldn't really get an idea of what those particular changes were. But a lot of the heat changes are shown in these three matches. So, for example, let's hop into the first video, which is Asusena versus Lily. Now watch Asusena go into heat. Her health bar is going to flash green, right? But also within here, we also seeing the UI changes that are occurring, right? So Asusena's uh, heat gauge, as you can see, has like lines that are dividing it. So I'm, I'm assuming three heat buff moves will do this. Um, but also, you should notice that when Asusena goes into heat or she uses her heat stance, her liberator stance and heat, on successful dodges, not only does she automatically attack or whatnot, but she regains some of her heat, which is another interesting little tidbit about this particular character. Um, see, so right here, as you can see, it's like her heat gauge is glowing green. And then as soon as I remove the freeze frame, you'll notice that her gauge just fills up a, a slight amount, similar to how King's heat gauge fills up on su successful throws. Now, as far as this match, there wasn't anything else in particular that was interesting, aside from like seeing Asusena's moves. Um, within the Law Paul match, the only important thing is Law has a new move, which is the Old Forest Law Punch from Tag 2, which was garbage back in the day, but it's here now, so it is what it is, right? Now, within the Raven and Kazuya fight, I want you to pay attention to when Raven uses heat or his heat engager, for example. His health is gonna glow green, similar to how Asusena's health bar was glowing green, but since Raven had a lot of white life that was kind of just stored, since his heat engager connected, he instantly regained nearly all of his white life. So by the looks of it, on successful heat engagers, you regen all of your white life. If, if not all, I want to say almost all of it, because I believe Kaz did it and it left a sliver of white health left over. Um, so I want to, I'm going to assume you regen maybe 25, like of, of like your life back when you land a successful heat engager. Um, but then also during the Raven Kaz fight, you also notice that Kaz's four four three now is now a launcher, um, and by the looks of it, it's on normal hit. Because there were multiple times where Raven just got clipped and he got launched for it. Um, there's also a new grounded laser that Kaz has, similar to Devil Jin's grounded laser, except this one just goes farther down, but it's on the ground. So I, I'm assuming it's a grounded specific only move. Um, but yeah, so uh, aside from that, um, this is an, an interesting change to the heat system. Um, because a lot of people were complaining, yeah, chip is high, blah, 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 you know, but then once you had a lot of white life, like you would eat something randomly and then you would lose all that white life. So certain things were a lot more damaging than what they're supposed to be, right? And that when you had a lot of white life, it was very hard to regen it back because you literally had to mash nonstop to regen that life. And there are times where you, just, you can't. So this is actually a really good incentive. So like if you have a lot of white life, and you're presented the opportunity to do use your heat engager, use it. Because not only are you flipping the tide of the battle in your favor as far as like the aggression and the, all the bonuses you get while being in heat, but it also allows you to recover a lot of the health you lost. 
So it's quite interesting. Uh, and I'm, I'm not going to lie. It's a, it's a really cool change. Um, we'll see how it plays out when the beta goes live. But um, yeah, guys. Uh, so this is a quick little down and dirty video. So hopefully this gets out to you all. So you can actually see um, how this would affect the meta, essentially, once the, once the, beta, once the beta comes out. So yeah, guys, if you like this video, don't forget, like, subscribe, blah, 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 all the YouTube stuff. Like always, I appreciate your time. Peace.